All right, welcome back, Squad Ops, round two, Rising Ghosts. I'm pumped. I'm excited. I did not get Gouda and Root Beer there. Sorry. So let's let's, uh, let's review the commands of Squad Leaks. We forgot to do that on round one. I was I got so excited. I just wanted to dive right into the op, but. Uh, Let's uh let's go over those commands and squad leads. So for the Russians, we've got Mighty in squad one, Odessa in squad two, Sightless in squad three, in squad four is Hammered Hebrew, and in command of the Russians is Shadow Ritual. And then on the uh, militia forces, we've got OD Tap in squad one, Silent Death in squad two, Evan SMA in squad three, Hamlet in squad four, and LaRue, better known as Jack in squad five. That's a pretty good lineup we saw there in round one. The uh, the Russian side of, on round one, which is uh, commanded by uh, Jack LaRue. Got the upper hand there. They're so on Soloniki. Yep, definitely. They're still doing, it looks like the uh, platoon leader still briefing his squad leaders here on the Russian side. And meanwhile, the platoon is doing their pre-preparation exercises and tomfoolery. So this is the first time you're tuning in. This is uh, Squad Ops. We play the game of Squad. Uh, we're a community. We run One Life events. There's a couple of special rules that we have. Uh, one of them is that once you're dead, you're down. You don't get to respawn. The medics can heal you, but once you're you know, Dead on the ground, you can fly into admin cam and check out the thing, but you're not allowed to talk or communicate anymore. Once you're dead, you are dead. It makes these uh, engagements a little bit more intense, more intense than a vanilla squad where you can just get, keep hitting respawn and getting back into the action. Once you're uh, you're gone, you're gone. Uh, a couple other special rules are, you know, we have these operations that have certain guidelines and rules, kind of formulate the combat, put people into dangerous situations, gets the heart pounding a little bit. So, yeah, it's definitely fun. Just uh, a lot more uh, intense round squad, pretty much. Yeah, so if you're interested in joining us, check us out at squadops.gg. We have a Discord. A lot of stuff happens in the Discord. There's a readme in there. It provides a ton of info on how to uh, take part in our events, uh, what pre prerequisites we have. We have SOTT Basic, which it's kind of like a one hour class that puts everybody on the same page as to what, you know, what does uh, rapid fire mean? What does, uh, you know, file formation mean? What are all these things? So that when squad leader shots got the command, everybody gets in line, kind of gives you that immersive kind of tactical feel when you're in these things. Uh, both me and Satan are instructors for that. That, that happens like, uh, what is it? Four times a month we have uh, SOTT basic. So plenty of opportunities. Right, yeah. Get in here, play some squad ops. And yeah, it's not just uh, SOTT basic we offer. We have uh, advanced weapons. We've got vehicle training. In our ops, there's a lot of like special specialist roles. Uh, if you're a vehicle driver or crew member, uh, AR, uh, LAT, it's, it's, uh, we go through all the, the rudimentaries, all the specific skills involved with each of those kits, each of those vehicles. Um, and and how we expect to see it in our ops. So we're going to be seeing, hopefully, good skills on the Russian side as they maneuver. Um, going to see it's a bit difficult for the militia with their techies, but um, convoy formations, uh, fire team bounding. We can see some uh, just uh, strategic movement. Definitely saw that in round one with squads covering each other. But uh, yeah, this should be fun. All right, looks like Shadow is going to brief his troops. So, yeah, we, we went over the uh, the Where squad leads. On the Russian side, they, uh, they do have quite a good lineup. So let's see how it goes. It might be two Russian victories if... Uh, if the uh, the militia don't aren't able to uh, flank them or outmaneuver them in uh, on this map. Who said patootie? Yeah. Potty mouth. Cool. All right. Nice try. Last round, everybody. Um, this time we are going to be attacking the uh, militia as they try and defend Akeem. 
the plan is as follows. Squads 1, 2, 3, and 4, you're all going to be mounting up in uh, uh, transport and or MTLB. Squad 3 is in charge of MTLB. Squad 4 is going to be mounting up in the MTLB. Squad 1 and 2 are going to mount up in the Lodgy. You're going to book it to Train Bridge, and you're going to go east. You're going to go south of... Uh, south of militia camp and you're going to go east and you're going to basically uh get to the east part of the map and then move north uh depending on the situation you're going to dismount in this general area maybe before maybe after and uh, we're going to try and attack akeem from the east northeast preferably the northeast where the uh the the trees and the the death blade favor us while squad command squad me and my uh, two others we're going to be taking the lodgy and we're going to set up mortars here and we're going to soften up the area with mortars before you move in it's a pretty cut plan uh cut and dry plan we're just going to do a platoon line and push in from the northeast so any questions how do we know what they're going to be in akeem uh the the rules of this one are if russian won the first round then they have then the militia has to defend the other points so yeah oh, okay so that, that's that's how we know if we had won then they would have been able to choose between the two is there any other questions? Squad leads, break them out, find out details, get them mounted up, I'll call for live. Let's get in this lodgy. Cool, man. I can't wait for more campaigns. Campaigns! Hey, yeah. Alright, so we just had the, uh, the Russian yeah. command brief. Well, actually, yeah. platoon brief there. Okay. Um, it's a pretty pretty uh similar um plan to the uh the other side on round one so he's going to be taking this bridge here first make sure that's clear then moving down near towards soloniki and just staying on the eastern side of the map before he moves up to the northeast of akim which is here on the northeast side of my map here on the top right so see how well this plans uh, this plan works for them. Remember the MTLBs are incredibly loud, so the militia are gonna know which right direction they're coming the from. Um, but if the Russians are able to uh, keep them back with their uh, their amount of assets, they have one GL and two LATs uh, and two MTLBs. Um, so they could probably do a lot of damage just coming in from the northeast. So I'm feeling pretty right, so good so about this plan so far. Then? Yep, I'll be calling dismount. Give me a minute here. I'll get my guys sorted out in the vehicles, and you guys can load up after that. Yep. I always do that, though. Yo, I fucking hate the AR kit. Alright, this is uh, the MTLB again. I believe it can hold around uh, two squads. So 19, uh, 19 people, so just over two squads. Um has a quite effective gun it's a russian heavy machine gun and um it's armament that, that the the heavy machine gun is pretty pretty useful when dealing with soft targets like uh enemy techies or any enemy infantry um which is what they'll be dealing with on this map but remember it takes two heat rounds to take out this vehicle uh we did see one mclb being destroyed in the round one um so let's see their mobility is not that uh not that high not very Never fast vehicles not very uh, mobile vehicles so we can see the techies definitely uh they might do a, a number on them on this round again jesus fucking christ all right so let's talk about the assets let's let's figure out what we're doing here i know we got the russian brief but Let's check it out. So the Russia gets two AR, one GL, two LATs, and a medic for their squads. They get a Lodgy, a Trans, and two MTLB and SVTs, which Shayton just showed you there. They also get a FOB, which is kind of like a fire support. They get a mortar or two HMGs, and last round you saw the mortar used pretty effectively. Militia gets two AR, one LAT, one medic. Uh, they also get four scouts, so a lot of mines and IADs again. Uh, they also get a Lodgy, two Dishka techies. They get an SBG techie. They get a Trans techie. They get an MTLB. They also get a motorbike, which we don't see very often in ops, but they get one of those too. Why not? Also, the FOB has two HMGs and one mortar and one SBG. So 
based on this operation, since the militia lost Soliniki, they are forced to defend Akim. So all the action is going to take place at the north end of the map up there. So Russia is plan is just to bypass Soloniki and get up to the north and the northeast side as quick as they can, which is pretty smart. So all the action will take place at the, the, again up there, but militia has the chance to go ahead and block those bridges. They have a lot of mobility. They have these techies here, as we saw in round one, that are just blazing all over the place. So there might be wolf packing. There might be uh, doing something, whatever they do, it's going to be intense. It'll be fun. Yeah, let's see where they, uh, they set up their defenses. Obviously, these bridges are a... Um... A key uh, location to look at for the uh, the militia. But I'm just gonna go get eyes on a Kim while uh, militia get in position. You know, while we get a chance, we might as well. Uh... Put a shout out to That's all the guys awesome. who got the point of views or the boots on the ground, the cameras yeah, yeah. down there. They, we've got a lot of them tonight. Man, You're on my new right now. Um, these guys, uh, Man, there's yeah, there's some up for you. These guys, uh, stream to, to the, uh, the pen network and then put it out there. It gives a really cool, uh, kind of point of view from the ground. There's Shadow, he's your command for the Russians right now. Oh, Merrick 362, that's also a good yeah, point of view. Right, a lot of action from that guy. Goes, oh my God. Hamley, he's the manager for the mod dev team, squad leader tonight. Got Evan, SM, Nelly. He's got something funny to say in the squad. And Burn. There you go. Uh, I'm change this around, Burns. I want you guys up in each watching this fully loaded MTLB push up to a Kim now. Yeah, we can see YouTube. We can see YouTube and Twitch tonight. So if you've got any questions Out. or shout outs, put them in chat, man. All right, here, Militia has found their new home. They're all just getting set up, finding good spots to place their fob, uh, good spots for their techies or the uh, MTLB to be to uh, to get set up. Good hold down location. This village is a pretty open one compared to um, Soloniki. A lot wider. There are quite a few defense points. We have two two-story buildings and a lot of compounds and a lot of open fields. So as you saw in the uh, round one with the Russians crossing that big open field, they didn't take that many casualties, but there is uh, that problem. Like they, they could take a lot of casualties just crossing these open fields. That's the one thing about a Kim that I always don't like about uh, whenever I have mm -hmm. to attack it. Yeah, those open fields to the east and the south are almost funnel, funnel you into those forests to the north or to the west or to cross a bridge. Yeah, like tree cover is pretty sparse around a Kim. Just yeah, yeah. A lot of big open fields. And Luckily, once you're inside, though, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, like you said, once you're inside, though, it's like building to building, fence to fence. It's pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get brutal pretty quick. I was just going to say that, luckily, though, they don't have U.S. optics. So cr trying to cross open fields aren't going to be too much of a like, big danger. If they were really, if they're up against the U.S. on this map, then uh, you would see a lot of infantry just going down to uh, small arms. But these MTLBs are definitely going to do a number, I am sure. Yeah, you can place the fob, you can't build. Is anyone holding you know, I don't I don't know what the militia is supposed to represent. I know they represent people who are oppressed and want to revolt against whatever government they are. <laughs> yeah, Nicholas, I don't know. If, uh, if the Russians are fighting them, who knows? They might be uh, separatists or something. If the Americans are fighting them, it might be rebels in Belarus or something. I don't know. Who knows? I'm about to 
They're just a fun faction to play, though. Oh, we're watching watching this discotheque. We saw that in round one. I'm zoom around one of them. Weren't too effective, but uh, used the right way, they can definitely put some damage onto the team, especially infantry at open field, or they can sneak up behind those MTLBs. They can wreck them pretty quick if they got some good gunners. We saw that last time that guy was reloading while the MTLB was moving around for him. So I think that discotheque would have had him, but he had to reload. Very quick, no armor couple bullets through the window and the driver is gone a couple bullets to the head of the gunner and the gunner's gone so not much protection but they are fast so yeah, sure. you can take it. for this right, for this uh mission you know this operation i think the militia has to be mobile they gotta get in their heads that they gotta hit them quick and then disappear like ghosts into the forest Cody, where's the bike yeah i agree it's a lot of hit and run the tactics like they're gonna have to uh utilize on this uh on this position Yeah, there's only four fractions. There's the U.S., which is the, the U.S. Army, uh, Russian ground forces, the insurgency, and this right here, the, the militia. All right, so we are live now. Let's check out what the uh, militia, or how they outset their troops here right away. Looks like they, they got the MTLB kind of hugging a fence, hauled down behind a fence, kind of cover it. Pretty smart. Looks like they got a squad moving to the north. Uh, and looks like we got a squad and a couple techies heading to the south, possibly to scope out the bridge. We also got a techie moving across the north bridge here. Here, take a look at the map, guys. You can see that. You can see all those vehicles moving around. When you park the vehicle, try to find somewhere you're sending out the SPG by itself. So we're not just out in the field. Some Copy sort that. of cover. Driving out here in the lonely fog all by yourself. Hopefully they don't run into a Russian MTLB. That'd be bad. Well, I'm looking at the Russian MTLBs now. They're just making their way right, to you get the, the south of Niver Upper. They do have MTLBs. Yeah, that sounded like the plan was to get quickly over those bridges so. before the militia could get there. Oh, yeah, they looks are. Like, yeah. So they went straight down to this uh, river, <laughs> sliding on the road there. Um, these track vehicles are pretty... Uh, Pretty difficult to maneuver. Slip and slide a lot. Tell you that, they don't handle like the, uh, the Caterpillar used to drive on the orchard. That's for sure. <laughs> so they're already crossing this bridge. Well, that's good. Crossing that's good this for bridge the with an MCLB and a uh, transfer truck. No, no cover with that. They just push across. They don't care if there's a mine there or not. But this is just one MCLB and a transfer truck. It sounds like the second one is hitting every tree on the way there. Oh, I can see it. Slowly making its way across the uh, bridge now. A little too early on the vodka handout, I guess. They gotta wait until the battle's over. Yeah. We're gonna have to do a quick stop here because my MTLB fucking fell behind. Alright. Go ahead and cut engine behind I'm us. I'm scared of getting shot at you. There's one over here, I'll try and snap. Exit. Use that, like. River as like a so stop stopped. The, uh, the Russian column has stopped right, here. Looks like they're just waiting for the second MTLB to catch up. Alright, we just got to call out of a enemy dish attack. The Russians apparently have spotted. Oh, yeah. They have been ordered to ignore. I mean, we could... Well, it's pretty wise because the Jishkateki doesn't have a gunner in it. 
It's just driving around. I don't know what this what this is. Um, maybe they V-bitted it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, already, um, kind of missed the fact that the main Russian forces across the uh, across the river, the militia weren't able to contest any bridge. Um, the Russians are just making their way all the way to the southeast side of the map, as per their uh, as per their plan, as to their orders. Yeah. <laughs> the second uh, MTLB is having a lot of trouble trying to make its way down. They are very difficult to drive though. Oh, the militia are at it. They're building away, getting ready. I know they're coming. Yes. You know, I don't think the militia maybe realizes that the Russian forces have crossed the bridge. No. Well, yeah, I'm not sure how close that uh, that Dishka a techie came to uh, hey, we got the to column damage. there. He was able to hear here. them or not. I have something developing up to the north. It looks like the Russians just uh, put their fob up here. They're really close to the SPG techie. Yeah, I saw that a Russian Lodgy did go north, did not follow this column, so it's... They might have placed down their mortar fob just right next to a can. Yeah, this is the Russian fob location right here. You can see that on the map. Commands here with the Lodgy. It looks like they're making a mortar pit. But if you look up here to the north, this SPG techie and some uh, dismounted troops are up here. You know what I would love to see? I would love to see a techie ambush or a lat ambush. This uh, this convoy is going the long way around. But if they get ambushed out here and lose their vehicles, they're not gonna have to walk into a Kim. That is mm -hmm. that would be a big blunder for the Russians. But it doesn't look like they're gonna be contested on the south side of the map here. Just open ground, foggy trees, and no militia. Yeah, and it looks like they're taking the road now too, which you know, it's probably pretty smart. Get the speed going here, but I don't know. It looks like they're ditching onto the, uh, the off the roads, which is probably the wiser choice. But I would I would think that you know militia would know that uh, the Russians, if they were approaching, they're probably not going to approach on the road and want to get some at least a listening post or two out there for the techies just to make sure they don't you know, take this wide east flank. Yeah, that's a key thing you mentioned there, the listening post. Uh, as as mentioned before, these MTLBs are incredibly loud. Even a transport truck, you can listen out for those, but an MTLB, you can hear them a long way away. So just having like a couple guys, a buddy team on a hilltop somewhere, they can listen out to these MTLBs coming up and just get a be able to pinpoint this Russian advance. Looks like the militia have not uh, thought of that. Yep. We're gonna have to do some waiting for my uh, other MTLB. That's a sh again. Or shed and a blue trash can. All, right. All good. Oh yeah, it was the trash can then. That was, yeah. yeah. Better call, better calling it out than not being it than actually being it and not seeing anything. <laughs> I just love, I just love this second MTLB just uh, be, oh, slowly be making his way up to the column. You look on the map; it's that poor case. MTLB down to There's the south there. Here. I've got another 300 right meters, and we're just going to start hearing them. We they got a squad yeah. kind of placed out here to the uh, to the east like side. Tonight. Good position. Good position if they try to get into that forest. Unfortunately, it looks like they're withdrawing. They're going north. It's an interesting call. Maybe maybe they're going to go north and flush, flush them out once they hit the woods. Was. I don't know. And you're gonna watch interesting your, uh, interesting tactics both around. We it's just... Uh, <laughs> Everyone I'd love else to know what they're, what's going on in their brain. Yeah. If you see anything, I need to know. I got a feeling that it's in MTLB south towards the cave. northeast side of the map with just sparse amounts of trees. They're going to have to just maneuver around where they do find cover. 
there's a lot of open ground, so they might just be kind of skirting around the, the areas that they do have some uh, concealment or at least some uh, concealment or cover. So, um, approaching audio range. See how it goes. What about a grid? Yep. We're gonna be dropping them off right here in the tree line. So let's try to do this quick again. Now, we might be having contact, uh... Yeah, we do see two militiamen up to the top right of my screen here. Dismount, dismount. Rush, oh, there's gonna the dismount. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna we do this quick. Copy. Yep, we're gonna have to. Lucky that it's not a uh, just an open field. Command, you want MTOBs to push up into that there are line few hills. Of, uh, I'm gonna give you an IED no. update. It looks like they rebitted a motorcycle. Okay. Oh, beautiful. I'm looking at this uh, Russian line as they cross this field. It's more like a delta formation, a wing formation there. Led by Mighty. Alright, so we're gonna set the, we're gonna set the uh, line, my squad is, and if two wants to uh, go off of that. And those two red specks on my screen are militiamen. They will come into contact soon. I'm just gonna get into the tree line here. It's down the right, so you don't get shot immediately. Right on. My guys were too concerned about the transport. There it is, it's strapped to the side of the bike. Oh boy. Okay, the Russian MCLP is coming right on top of those militia. Right past them. I hear a lot of vehicles moving out. It looks like they're going to try to get get onto those vehicles. Yeah, which is getting ready. Very disciplined trigger fingers on the militia side here. Waiting for, for you, waiting Just for let that squad pass. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it on you, right? Yeah, their information they're providing is way more valuable than a couple of kills they could get. Exactly. All right. Sounds like the militia it's are coming making up them to maneuvers Merrick's now. Clock on the high feature here. Okay, okay. <laughs> One of the militia guys just got headshotted by uh, Nader Nade. Nuke Dukum just went down to a headshot right, close we're, range. Uh, we're we're, we're One of the militiamen. Uh, enemy scout's dead, but we gotta start moving now. It's East up this hill, you hear it? Let's get hard you hear it? You hear it? Make them waste yeah, their on us. They know that as yeah, per squad ops rules. We go out and buddy team, so if one they hit. kill oh, one boy. guy, there's gonna be at least one more left. Turn the guys on top of him. He sees him. There you go. The second guy's dead. Scared turtle guy, but they uh they killed the second one. Am I transmitting? I hit it once with a lad. This MTLB is taking one lat hit. Try to get up on this peak over here. And that squad down below put a put a RPG into it. Yeah. Oh, they're just holding yeah. it. Wow. What a bad position for the uh, vehicles at the moment. This yeah, large hill. We... Yeah, they can get some elevation up here, but this squad is holding them off. No, that right after you fire Say SPG, again. you do not have to reload. You just stay safe. And, uh, get into a different no slot, no hide the vehicle, reload. Yes. Yes. This is a V-bid bike over here. Guys, still here. Three. 
So it was no. one lat into a uh, MTLB, was that correct? Where did that, where did the bike go? Okay, so if that's one lat, then uh, that MCLB just here. needs to get hit one more time before it burns out. Yep, it looks like they're hunting it now. Squad's You're moving looking at closer a, and closer. He was on that hill well, right Russia there. Tech, he he right towards a Russian squad there. It's almost like right the militia. Right on top of him. Yeah, it's like the militia is just playing with him right now. Yeah. 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 Other man. Oh, gunner down, gunner oh, down. Oh, oh. We're going quick, we're going quick, before we're going quick right now. Copy that. Copy. They know, they know we're all over here, so... That disc attack, he's returning fire on that squad. I don't think he has much visibility from that position, though. Squad 4, you killed. Yeah, it's a, uh... Militia squad, militia squad lead. Oh, that MTLB is taking a second RPG. Ooh, some flanking fire coming in from a uh, militia MTLB. It's locking down a uh, suppressing mighty Service squad. Folks. Oh, hold on. Four, go a little more north. Is it an MTLB or an HMG? Motorcycle coming up. They're chasing these MTLBs to the north here. They got the SBG techie and they've got this motorcycle so they keep it. Oh, I see that now. Well, there goes a Russian squad lead to that MCLB. The uh, squad one lead, Mighty, just went down to that MCLB firing from that compound. South of squad three, one, full one squad. Is pretty pinned from their location there. Sorry, I have no idea. We're taking GL fire spread out. Hold your position. Managing. Alright, they're pushing west. They're pushing west. Large exchange of fire on the north side. That militia squad's engaging the whole Russian infantry force to their south. It's my 12 o'clock. MTLB is southeast of squad. But the Russian MTLB is coming into a flanking location. Let's see if this works out. I don't know. That's. I think that might be the one that took a couple of lat hits here. Okay. Well, it, uh, the MTLB's in a good spot to hit that uh, militia we squad. Yeah, oh, we see him. Silas just went down to uh, small arms, and that SPG tech is coming in right behind. Oh, there we go. Shit, it's, it's down. It's down. Just that was one shot. Sure that was it there, MTLB yeah. Down? That was the uh, MCLB. You guys are going to be uh, checking out one for this position. Earlier. We're supporting that. We got one more. All right, bravo. Come to me. Yep, yep. Good job, guys. It looks like the Russian assault is stalled out. They're just held here. I know. You're barely hurt. Get hit one more time. You're barely hurt. I might bleed out. Oh, I know me too. I got tagged. Medic, uh, you're going to have two casualties coming to you. I can cover you if you want to move up. I'm moving up to squad Copy, Yeah, get behind this tree. Grimble, fall back. You need to. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, the Russians are just pinned in this forest down here. That squad up on the northern hills has got them pinned. One ninety five. So 
just an intense firefight happening in this uh this tree line. Let's see who comes uh on top of it. The Russians have lost a MTLB. And they're just pretty much they they've been calling comms that they are pinned down by uh, dish gun placements, pinned down the, by an MTLB, pinned down by an enemy squad. So let's see if they can push out of here and make some gains. Just don't want to be stuck in this uh, this tree line, just getting picked off one by one. Still have a uh, enemy SPG just roaming around, looking for a spot to put in a, a rocket. Yep. The Russians have made it to that compound though, in that little forest north of Akim. The squad's still doing its work though up here. It's hold them, hold them off, slowing them down. Yeah, they did manage to take out a uh, a militia. Techie and a second one's coming up pretty close by to a Russian uh, squad. Yep. Okay, the Russians are taking that militia techie. Oh, and a GL hits the uh, the enemy on. The enemy held militia techie. They're trying to pull out. Let's see if they make it. That driver took a GL to the face. I'm uh, surprised he's okay. Still in a pretty good firing position there. But you can see that the Russians have taken that militia techie and using it. That's that's awesome. Driver is confused. He must have saw that Dishka Techie shooting at him. Yeah. He's probably going like, why is my guy shooting at me? Nope, those are yeah. Russians. Yep, those are Russians using your assets against you. I, I would keep that Techie. I would keep that Techie for mo mobility rather than uh, engaging any mm. hard targets like an MCLB. They can do some damage, like poke around and then... Uh, and then try and move around a flank with that. So I would keep that 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 uh, discotheque up. I lost one man in that engagement. He's dead in that field there. But they were able to hit that uh, MTLB pretty hard. That is true. It's, it's an open plane behind us. So that militia squad that was to the north of uh, the Russian infantry have made their way onto the east flank. Um, there's a lot of tree cover there, which they could use just to push onto the Russian position. Let's see if they uh, they do use that. Mm -hmm. Well, they got to be getting these that, call outs uh, here. Yeah. This MTLB keeps firing at it, and I, I hear the other Russian MTLB here to the uh, east. Sounds like. Yeah. It's definitely a hard village to hit. Have you have you seen if the Russian mortars have been effective this round? They're falling inside, but I don't see any casualties from them. Okay. They're getting close to the MTLB. A couple of hits on that, and you know, that'll take it down too. Audio, audio, enemy, enemies. Audio enemy MTLB directly southeast of my pause. Okay, okay, here we go. Russian MTLB is getting hit by the militia MTLB. I can see that happening. Here comes this uh, little uh, vehicle engagement now. Russian MTLBs managed to make it back into some uh, 
definitely last audio was just took uh, more beast. damage from the militia MTLB. It looked like it got engaged by a uh, enemy Dishka as well. So he's pulling back to the east. You got like one hit point lost. If you want here. Yeah, yeah, get all the health you can, everybody. Thanks, all right, man. this is not no longer gonna be a fire team. This is just one squad. We don't. Our have mortars troops. popping off. Sounds good. Yep. All right, we're gonna push. Oh, we're taking shots. Shots from the west. Oh my that's, god. Uh, that's uh, two fifty seven ish. Do the militia have a lat? On the east and flank, hey, they can two, definitely so take out that MTLB. Negative, we're good. Be advised, there's a techie moving west. Copy. One, I need you pushing north. Uh, yep, north I north see north. one militia one, lat member. Copy. You're both gonna move north. And then swing to north. The MTLB needs to watch out for uh, being exposed to enemy infantry and in their uh, heat rounds. Looks like that one might, <clears throat> the MTLB might just take or, uh, one, or uh, My buddy team might, in the might north, take two. He did get hit by the heavy gun, up. so he's definitely Excellent. low Contact uh, west-northwest, about 100 meters. He's moving left to right. South of that little uh, dead-end circle. It's a cover, and then let's engage if we... Uh... Oh, Eric sees the contact up there. The squad's going yeah, to get some shots on, I imagine. Ooh, squad ooh. Squad SPG and Tech Ouch. Are... Yeah, that seemed like a mistake. Yep, yeah, that was a friendly mine blowing up. Oh, my south. goodness. That was two yeah. militia techies. That is a blunder. <laughs> They did not check their maps. They did not know where the mine was. That is two militia tech. He's destroyed by one friendly mine. And I believe that was a number of two or three militia members killed in that uh, explosion. All squads, all squads, all squads come in. Uh, we are going to pull Oh, there back goes militia's the mobility there. Copy. Squad 3 is going to come in from the east, clear the west force. And friendly MTLB is engaging. Uh, Friendly troops here on the militia Where's side. So a couple uh, of just uh, missteps. Looks like, ouch. Nasty Nate just killed a, uh, a friendly squad lead. And now he's getting mortared. This is not looking good for militia. Who's gonna cross north of the field and try to loop around? Luckily, Copy, though, for Massinate and his MTLB, those mortars did miss, but he did kill a friendly squad lead. Oh, and that one. enemy MTLB is maneuvering to uh, engage him to the north there, actually, to the south. My squad, we are, oh my god, we are the uh, death squad, we are going see through the, the field enemy along the road. Slowly moving up so... to engage the, uh, the MTLB in the south, but he's slowly just pulling back. Hey, Smartest thing to do in this, uh, this situation here. Uh, stay in between them, yeah. Looks like yeah, Russia's lost 12 and Militia's lost 9, so okay, still fairly close. Yeah. Why lean right? And I'd say, I'd say about around yeah. half of uh, the oh, militia buddy, losses um, are to, due to uh, friendly fire. I read so that's uh, <laughs> it's quite possible, yeah. That's an issue uh, there, yeah. Push. Which direction do you want us to push so that we're all the same, like kind of? All right. So if you're just joining us and wondering what's going on, the Russia's Russia has to assault this village of Vikim. This is Operation Rising Ghosts. So we've got we got the full Russian platoon here to the north. They're doing the northern flank. We've got a Militia squad kind of chasing them. You got militia in the village. You got militia out here in the mountain, and you've got this Russian MTLB here in the field watching that. And militia still has their MTLB up. So one versus one MTLB. Pretty even match so far. Yeah, it's been uh, gains on each side. 
a um, little bit of a tug of war. The Russians first uh, were able to capture the uh, the wood, the tree line to the east. Killed a couple of militia yeah, yeah. that were hiding in there. And then lost an MTLB and lost a squad lead. Um, and just due to... Uh, don't, don't. Yeah, I, I, I would say militia. Um, I mean, it's not as just not as seeing as where the mine was placed on the road. They lost dumb, two techies, not in and a enemy. third. The Russians are able to so take important. a uh, capture a techie. All right, so we both um, to where and I am. We're gonna stop. Yeah, this is just back and forth so far. Then lay down. Hasn't right been a large trees. push yet. Oh, sorry, in the wheat, so you can still see out, but you're still covered by the um, wheat. So the Russians have positioned themselves on the north side of the uh, the village now. Uh, we don't see any. All right, copy. So actually a pretty good position to assault from. They do have the tree line leading up to the north side of the village uh, at this junction this here. would give them some cover when pu pushing into the buildings, um, following in those doom techies that came in previously. This looks like this is where they're maneuvering to assault from, from the north. And we're looking at the Russian, the Russian MTLB being engaged by a militia dish gun placement. Do you see the enemy MTLB? Okay. I do not see here in the trees. Still, the MTLB has got some health left in it. Well, the MTLB's remaneuvering is going the other direction now. And you can see the Russian platoon up there to the north, what's remaining of it. Look, they, uh, Look, they're doing a full flank here. Yeah, what do you think is going to happen? MTLB is moving south southwest. I think they were trying to move that MTL, MTLB Hold. up to uh, do, do some fire support from the, the south while they north. moved the platoon up the riverside uh, in Defilade and got into uh, the village. The but motorbike, I, I believe. The, uh, the looks like Nisha has a dish cache set up here in the village. Let's see if he can look on it here. Put some fire on, scared that MTLB off. Yeah, I did see that. Looks like, as you were saying, the Russians are going to be using that river to push up with uh, the most amount of cover possible. So that's that's even better than using the uh, the wood line, because they can yep. come into the village. Uh, they can come into a kim from the uh, the west side, which is just a short dash across a small open field into the buildings. So that's probably Russia's best bet. Do you need to branch out a little more so we can build a line? That would be good they do have a militia force on the uh, northeast side which i'm looking at now i see them this there in the force field. might do a lot of damage to the uh the small russian squad yeah here, yeah, yeah to my, uh, to to my north west. yeah to my north Contact. in the fields no 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 stay in that get out of the get out of the fields get out of the fields get in hard cover get in a tree and watch these fields coming out of the fields we're trying to l shape and uh, just pushing from those two flanks. Yep, looks like a... Okay, from the Russian perspective here, they're going to be pushing yeah, yeah, yeah. in from the from western flank into a Kim. They're going to have one squad on the north side just giving some fire support. And it looks like the MTLB is going to continue to provide two, four, some supporting uh, fire from the we'll south side. Cause a distraction on the west. Three, get your MTLB to start making some noise. Just lighten up fucking uh, windows and doorways and anything. Just get them looking that direction. So we're looking at this river position they're using to move up onto the uh, the uh, yeah, militia the held the village. Map. Pin it down with theirs immediately. Copy. Sounds perfect. Alright, squad, who's in position? Alright, everybody, Copy. everybody ready to go? When squad 2, 4, 5, when you guys are ready, push in from the west. Alright, we're gonna be seeing a large assault happening in a second here. Alright, 
right, shoot four, start going, one, start moving. Everybody start moving. Here we go. They're go. stepping off now. Well, the distraction MTLB to the east is now down, so Russia has nothing left. Two and start moving across. Yep, two and four, start Copy. moving across. One, looks like you got a decal aimed right at you. Should be, be ready. Four, go northeast. Four, go northeast. Two, keep going the direction you're going to swing from there. Like four, cross that street you're, you're against. I want you to clear out those buildings. Find this rock, find this rock. So some good cover for the Russians coming in from the fired. west now. Pushing into the village. They're going to yeah, use this high ground against the militia. Yep, and militia's not watching it at all. Yeah, those they're in this two-story here, but they're not watching it. No. Not watching that western river approach. Here we go, here we go. On to contact CQB. Let's see how this pans out for the, uh, the Russians. Getting engaged by that Dishka position. Push didn't work out too much. Got a couple guys down. Yeah, that's what we're aiming for. All right, one, I need you over here. Sure you using that tall grass to slowly Turtles make it up to well. that uh Copy. that house there that gave him contact. Do you have a position on the AK moving around? A lot of rush is going down now. We're just going to watch this engagement, see how this plays out. A lot of grenades going to this field. Good work. Good work by the Russians there, just keeping the militia back. Yeah, well, a little firefight breaking out. Yeah, I was just gonna say they left that dish gun placement. See, so you get a wider picture of the uh, the village. So that's the militia M still be um, pushing up to the Russian advance now on the western side. Let's see if this does any damage. He's looking to the south on top of the hill. Well, those Russians are in uh, cover there from the MTLB though. Well, Russia's quickly, quickly pushing the north side of Vakim now. Overwhelming numbers. Overwhelming numbers to the north. Exactly. They want to overwhelm the militia positions here. All right. The MCLB knows that the the Russians are using that smoke against them. Dorf has managed to kill those those two militia in that, that building there. I believe that was with a uh, grenade. Some volley fire coming in. Yeah, I believe one lat must have hit that MTLP. I see it on fire. Yeah, it looks like one of them hit the uh, logic truck over here. A lot of little firefights breaking out. We got this northern squad up here pushing in. Only a couple of militia between them and the fob. 
to the southern squad here engaged with the MATLB. There is a small... Oh, there goes, there goes the MTLB, a second lat, and it's down. That's the, the militia MTLB going down. And in the south, there is a Russian fire team assaulting this two-story building that's held by militia command. Let's see how well this goes. This is Odessa and her squad. So house to house fighting. There's someone inside here or inside? Ooh. Very deadly in CQB. Yeah, they even put fortifications inside this building. Sorry, down north. Understood. Uh, they do manage to uh, take this building. They will kill militia uh, command. Oh, command sees one. Oh, one in there for sure. All right, two versus three, just trying to take this building. Oh, Ooh, there you go. One, one left. Using these sandbags is really useful when uh, defending a house. No, it's the it's the cap over there. Those guys are freaking out. Yeah. Getting close. Getting close. Squad two died. They let him go by though. Hmm. Fuck. Don't fucking know why. Oh, oh boy, here we go. Uh, one for one trade. His buddy over here has to see this. Oh, there goes the nade. Oh boy, not the right side. Roll down the hill. These guys are over here and getting engaged now. Militia's falling back with force. Nade going out. Oh, we got one. You lied to me. Oh, shit. They've taken over that two-story, and now they're putting fire on these guys over here. Oh, a, a small victory for the Russians there, killing that one guy who took down, I believe, two or three Russians is trying to push that. They're trying to push the staircase. It's going to hurt for this, uh, this Russian. Who is this? Lon Darts. What is there like three, three Russians alive? Is that what I count? Four, four Russians. Oh yeah, we've got a uh, militia AR walking around the other side of the building. It's XF. There he is. Uh, Tense moments for this Russian just holding this corner, waiting for the militia top of the stairs to make a uh, mistake, but it might not pay off for him. Okay, small engagement. Oh. He's on the stairs. <laughs> oh, there he goes. I'm XF coming. claims the kill. Well, the last three Russians are here. We got two guys by the car and one that's sitting by the fence. We got some militia sneaking in here, crawling along, and you got these guys up here. Make them come to us. 
see shit. I don't see shit. I only see red. See how this turns out. These guys are being extra cautious, which is kind of paying off. They're getting really close. Yeah, you notice that in ops, guys really want to stay alive for as long as possible. Um, so you got to be really careful with your movement. One bullet can take you down. So you got Nader Nade. Looks like Phoenix Overlord and uh, V44 over here. Northwest, there is enemy there. Fuck. Yeah, they're uh, not in a good position. Yeah, so did I. I think we've all gotten it. One well, it's just getting hungry. They're starting to push up from the uh, south there. Oh, these guys heard that fire go off. They're going to go scope them out now. Oh, oh was. Yeah. beautiful shot by an SKS. Yeah. That was Gonzo to Gons. Let's see how these last two react to that. Just getting picked off one by one. That's pretty horrible. Got Silas in the corner. Oh, oh nice. Boy. Good shot there. Nader and Nate took down Silas. <laughs> um, not much, but that's a good thing because then they have to get like right on top of me or for me for them to see me. I mean, the only thing we can do. Don't tell me you just got shot. I can smoke. I can still smoke. It looks like the Russians are still being engaged from the south and southwest. Yeah, looks four, like four. A, a small fire team pushing up from there. As soon as you guys opened up, that other uh, little buddy team over there took you guys out, or took you out. So the slow, slow movements from both sides. They, uh, everyone wants to stay alive. So Sheds. see how this plays out. He was in this got, uh, We got that today. scout. We got Gonzo peeking that corner. Oh, wow. Who's that again? That's Nader Nate. Some good accuracy by Nader Nate there. But that fence is not, not uh, bulletproof. They're pinpointing their location now. Here comes a uh, militia, militia command coming up to Nader Nate and uh, yeah, Phoenix, Phoenix Overload. Let's see how this works out. There goes Nader Nate. Last man standing. Maybe this will settle the debate of what Rip. Phoenix was first. <laughs> yeah. I got a feeling they're going to see him through. Uh... Yeah, this X7, I got a feeling he might see him through the fence. There's a break in the fence right there. And that's what, exactly what happened. Ouch. There you go, GG. Wow, well that was Operation Rising Ghosts. That's a, one of our one and done ops for the month. So unless the community shouts for it, wants it back. Good game. That will be it nice for try. that operation. Phoenix, that so hopefully it was good for you guys to watch it you know, as it was for us because uh, uh, both from. rounds were pretty intense. Yeah, just, I think we're gonna grab the commanders from each team, get in here and see what uh, what their reactions day. were, how they yeah, felt about the, the rounds and uh, Oh, Once again, if you're interested in, in squad ops, check us at squadops.gg. Uh, we've got a Discord. You can click on the link at the top of that web page and get into our Discord. Check out the README file. It's got a ton of information in there about how we do our ops, how to get be a part of the community, and uh, how to uh, get into these one life events. That uh, that well, I'm, I'm you know I don't want to say anything. I, they kind of sell themselves, but once you're into them. 
it's pretty awesome it's intense it's like squad on crack it's it's crazy exactly uh, yeah 44 says he hates this off well that's only because well you know you're the one of the three left sorry <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got LaRue in here. We got Shadow Ritual in here. Uh, you know, let's pick apart round one. Let's talk about round one. Well, for, you know, first of all, let's do something a little different tonight. How did you guys feel about the op? It was kind of like uh, a little different, right? LaRue, what were your thoughts on the op? Um, it was definitely different. That's one of the best ways I would use to describe it. Uh, but it was really fun, too. I like the uh, different mechanics we had that we don't normally see where uh, forcing one team to take and the uh, vehicles being neutralized for either team. Definitely something different, but uh, lots of fun, like I said. Shadow, what do you think? Uh, yeah, this is a fun op. It's uh, it's interesting. I like how you've got the, if one side wins this, uh, if one side wins this, then this happens the second round, sort of like cause and effect things. And we haven't seen that in, in any ops, as far as I know. And uh, right. it's, it's a neat little mechanic. All right, well, let's talk about the rounds. Let's get some feedback from the commanders, what your plans were, how they worked out. Uh, Lure, why don't you kick it off round one? What, what uh, that, that Russian uh, kind of methodical kind of push you did from the north onto the militia, or was it, yes, it was that way. <laughs> how did you think that worked out for you? Would you, if it looked good from the sky, I tell you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely um, my squad leads, just a huge shout out to them, Silent Death, uh, Evan, OD tap and Hanley, they did awesome job, just methodical push. I did a bit of micromanaging. I think I could have eased back on them, but just um, I just they they carried the front line while I sat back, just calling in mortar strikes, pretty much. <laughs> you had some you close calls there, right, uh, Larue? <laughs> yeah, man, a few times. <laughs> yeah, the enemy was shooting at me. I was like, I'm I'm so dead. Yeah. You were watching, what, you... was it Turtle Guy? Turtle Guy coming up to you? Dude, and you managed to put him down. Squad, squad one goes, break, 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 command. There's a guy right there. And I turn around, this guy's right on me. I was like, oh my. So what do you think, Shadow? How did that uh, How did that go for you on the uh, militia defending? Uh, first round, it, I felt our, our plan was pretty good. Um, it's just that, like, or we had a, a squad who, who the squad lead went down to a really nice mortar and it basically landed right on top of his head and it was like losing the whole squad like yeah just that was the, right at the beginning too yeah right at the beginning like the the ftl just wasn't able to pick up the slack and and it was almost like we were a full squad down after that one kill and it it, it hurt us just trying to get them to maneuver and then just do do anything in it and it definitely it was it was painful. The, the mortars were definitely on point. They took out. Uh, I actually got another squad lead through the, the window. They were they were standing up, and it got it landed right next to the window, and it was able to get them. Crazy. So oh, yeah. was your plan was your plan for the uh, the two squads like uh, with the, the the techies just to kind of wait and kind of hold off no. and wait until they committed? It was not the like plan at always, all. <laughs> the plan was to get them so to close. attack. No, that's so the, close. <laughs> that that was the squad. I, I was like go attack get them hurry up you're like you're right there like you see them shoot them and just they never shot i feel <laughs> <laughs> like we, we we knew where they were and i was like get get behind them shoot them ambush them you know they don't know you're there please and just nothing ever came of it yeah there was a moment where the russians were crossing that large field on the east side when they pushed into uh saloniki and uh, you had that force that followed them all the way um, from the north there. Yep. And uh, they had the perfect opportunity to hit them from the rear, but they just missed that by, I'd say, a minute or 30 seconds. Yep. Yeah, I was, was definitely following that the entire time. Like, we knew we were, we were tracking them the whole time. And I'm like, get behind them and kill them. And then, like, right, right towards the end, he's like, come on, what do you need me to do? And I was like, shoot them. Like, I don't know how more clearly i can say that just get behind them and please just <laughs> shoot shoot them and just nothing yeah. ever nothing ever came of it it was uh it does get frustrating it was yeah. slightly pressure but i mean it's it's a game the experience was fun i know i had two guys in, in the command squad and they like part of part of the game is just sitting there and just watching them 
watching the enemy do things, and even if you're not actually in the in the combat, it's still part of the experience, and it's still it's still pretty fun, even if you do lose. Yeah, it's it's hard to motivate people to go lose their life, when, especially when they don't get to come back. So yeah, that doesn't. <laughs> People play a little different. So round two, let's talk about that real quick. Uh, so LaRue, I saw that you had a V bid on motorcycle. I was watching that. It felt like uh, a scene from the Muna Indoor for me. <laughs> Why is he With running the through the forest? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so uh, how did you think uh, that worked out for you up there as militia? So for, for round two, it was my plan was basically have one on fob and then almost a triangle around of the city for defense and forward of observation, and then ultimately fall back Alamo inside the buildings. I think the plan worked out pretty good. Um, we kind of boxed them in, I feel, towards the eastern side of the map, and uh, I think we just tore them up there. At least that's what the reports I was getting from my squad leads. And, yeah, um, they were... They were caught in a bad crossfire up there. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I just, I kept stressing, guys, just, just Alamo, make them fight for every inch they have. Make them fight every inch. We have these ambler spots, these open fields, MGs. And like, again, like I said, again, my squad leads did a great job. And um, it just, it got really intense down to the wire. I felt there was like a full squad around my building. <laughs> it was kind of nerve wracking. Yeah, we were watching that. It was pretty difficult for that. Uh, it was quite a, it was just less than a squad trying to push into that uh, that building that you were in there. Um, but that one person you had on the first floor was able to take down the first three that came through, or mm -hmm. first two. And then um, XF killed the last guy yeah, that, that came into your building. It's awesome there. having local comms with other people and just, uh, we were all coordinating the whole time. Like we were calling out, or we hear him on the left side of the building, right side. Let's get someone to try and flank. You hold the stairs, I'll peek the window. It was just awesome communication from everyone. And uh, my team, they seemed to have a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, how about the, we call it this on stream, well, like the tail end of it, the two friendly techies being blown up by a friendly mine? <laughs> yeah, about that. Um, we were uh, calling out the enemy's MTLB location, and uh, Squad 4 goes, all right, I'm sending my technicals to go flank this. Oh, and then no. next thing I know, I hear an explosion. I go, what happened to the uh, technicals? Ran over a friendly mine in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah. They were right next to each other when it went up. Did it get both of them at the same time? Yep, they are right Jeez. next to each other when they went up. Kids, that's why we teach battle spacing. Yeah, exactly. How about you, Shadow? It was a pretty cool uh, push from the east. It just looked like it got bogged down in the forest of Endor there. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely fought it. We managed to get about, I'd say, uh, like about 15, like a little more than a squad of people into the actual objective. But we just, they kept fighting on the north. Sightless, sightless uh, our squad, uh, three at that time. He said he, sh he probably shouldn't have brought the, uh, the MTV that far up north without the infantry support in. You know, just yeah. hindsight, just probably should have had the infantry before the MTOBs and had the MTOBs covering up from the from the north. Because we felt if we were able to get the whole platoon up from the northeast, like that's your best avenue of approach into into a team, just being able to use that that wooded area and not have to use the fields and everything. But meh, it, we we managed to get uh, about 50 people into the village, and then it was just like door to door fighting where they just they just outshot us. They they were the def they had defenders advantage, so they were able to just sit there and watch the corners, and we right. we had to like run into them. Well, it was it was exciting to watch all those kind of little fo forest firefights go on for sure. Oh yeah. Final this, thoughts. The atmosphere of this map is this is probably my favorite just layer. Just the atmosphere is great. And I'm glad yeah. we, we finally have an op like besides Miss Walker's like an op with like vehicles on it, where it's mm -hmm. just it's just it's great. I love the fog. I love like the time of day. Like it's it's kind of night like just just reaching that point of night and it looks it's, it's a really fun fun layer all right well do you guys got any final thoughts um just like I, if i could do one thing over it would probably have moved some of my guys sooner in the first round in squad four i felt like i had a whole squad defending a mortar that never got attacked it's my only regret I think it was really fun, and uh, I hope to see this uh, off again soon. Awesome. 
Well, good job, guys. That was uh, really fun to watch. A lot of back and forth. All right. Well, let's go. We're going to close up the stream here. Uh, big shout out to all our cameras on the, the boots on the ground, the point of views. Uh, let's give a good thanks to the command and all the squad leaders that came out tonight and gave us a good show. Uh, all the participants that came out, you know, without the community and those guys dying on the field for us, uh, it wouldn't be any fun. Uh, I'd like to thank Penn, the man behind the Professional Entertainment Network, that gives you these awesome streams. Uh, without him, we'd just be flying overhead and watching all the nonsense uh, just with one camera. So a big shout out to Penn and coordinating all that technology that he has back there, like the Wizard of Oz. Uh, if you're interested in squad ops, let's talk. Uh, let's check us out on uh, squadops.gg and uh, join our Discord. We got a lot of information on there. We're also giving a squad key away this month. Uh, if you want more information on that, it's getting linked in the uh, Twitch, or come on to our Discord and check out the read meets in there also. If you got any questions about how to join our community, about what the, the dates of things are, check out the calendar. Join us in the Discord once again. There's a lot of great folks in here that'll give you answers to your questions. Uh, next Wednesday, another one and done op, Cemetery Hill. So uh, come out and check us out on that. Uh, see how, how the Russians do at defending the hill from the, uh, the dirty Americans. Uh, a lot of ops this month, one and done. So see it once and it's over. So thanks again to everybody who came out, all the uh, squad ops guys out there that uh, make all these events awesome. And uh, thanks, Satan. Thanks for uh, commentating tonight. All good. I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. All right. Well, this is Squad Ops, and we're signing off for the night. <laughs>